All right, what's up, Paul Squad? Welcome back. So it's now time for the last Hot Mega Reaction for the week. And it is another Zephyr recap. This is his um, Karate Kid recap. And it's called Daniel Russo is a Fraud. So uh, I got to see this one. Also, by the way, I saw his um, reboot recap uh, did a year ago. That was, I believe that was sorry, um, actually my first Zephyr um, reactions I did ever. So I'm excited to see this, man. Because Karate Kid, the original Karate Kid, still holds up as one of my favorites of all time. So Hot Squad, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Yo, I'm planning to take a break off YouTube sometime in September, and I was gonna hold this video off until once I came back, but I got an insane new wave of motivation, so I gotta give y'all something before I leave. I def gotta give y'all this, and then when you come back, we gotta run up Cobra Kai for real. I appreciate y'all for all the support. Thank you for watching. We gonna get right into it. I just started Cobra Kai season four, by the way. I have yet to see you continue it. Now, before I even go into finding this movie, real gotta recognize real. Daniel LaRusso, you a good looking guy. I can't even lie. As a 10 out of 10 male myself, <laughs> I no ball when I see it. So, him and his mom moved to Los Angeles. And you're gonna see this whole movie, the script is actually elite. This is in my top 10 movies of all time for that specific reason. Okay. I don't know if they winged it for a lot of the movie, but these combos just be so snappy, bro. I love it. So, we not even. Oh, by the way. The director of the Karate Kid also did Rocky, by the way. In a whole five minutes in the movie, and Daniel's already showing that he's a fraud. Instead of <laughs> opening the door like a regular human being, this man tries to use a karate yep, kick, kick to it. open the door. He just like them friends that be like, bro, let me use this move on you. And the move is just like this. I don't know why y'all be doing all this on regular <laughs> pedestrians. Go out there and box. So Daniel kicks the door open and it hits this man, Freddy. And again, we're not even five minutes in and we're already introduced to two frauds. But we're going to talk about him later because I'm going to rip this kid to shreds. But for now, he's being a W man. They just met and he already invited him to a beach party. So they out there playing soccer and all that and Daniel gets to prison. With just his eyes too. He really just like me. I really think I'm captain for the video. Back in elementary school, I was a swing swindler. If you're good at me push her on the swing, she was gone and would be behind the slide. First kiss bandit, you know what I'm saying? That's tough. <laughs> Couldn't even do me dirty either. I only copped the nerd hoes. My girl was up in the library reading Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Y'all stay safe. But back to Daniel. Who is he out here risen? This the finest milk and honey I done ever seen. Oh my. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so she was 21. She did a Karate Kid Elizabeth Shoe. That's crazy, man. I think I recently just saw her. Like last, really last time I seen her was in The Boys. I think season one, I believe, or season one or two. Playing music. I'm looking at her and I'm like, she's so. Y'all want to know something that cannot be yours Find but itself. can still pull up and ruin your day? A crazy ex. Johnny Lawrence. And that's exactly what this man Johnny is. <laughs> Bro saw her talking with another man and immediately sped down there. This is definitely the first baggie that he lost, but I don't even blame Bro. If I lost a girl like this, I'd be on a terrorist list. I'm already <laughs> losing it mentally. Now imagine a baggie making it worse? <laughs> nah, that's crazy, but I don't know. Something about white woman with blonde hair is making everybody lose their mind. We was just talking about Eddie Brock. I'm gonna have to dabble in some white hoes soon because this. what are they doing to have y'all acting like... Wait, 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 wait. I gotta go back. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? Hold on. White woman when the worst song you've ever put on your freaking life comes on. They do it to have y'all <laughs> acting like this. But before we get to Johnny, Daniel and Allie was talking and she ends the scene off like this. Bruh. Daniel, you better than me because these Zeph hands are rated E for everyone. I don't care if it's a girl, a baby, or somebody's grandma. You do me like this? You going six feet under? But Johnny's out there all up in her face begging her just to talk for two seconds. Being mad aggressive and everything. You got no social awareness. The camera keeps cutting to Daniel watching them argue. He started hearing his theme, the Star Spangled Banner, the whole saver anthem. He has to put that cape on. It's time to save the hoes. So he tries to give the juice box back to Allie. Johnny pushes him down with it and they immediately get the box and there's no hesitation. So Daniel being the poser predecessor to Concrete Smith dashes at Johnny like them Titans from AOT and gets sweeped right to the floor. He's sitting in the sand contemplating his life and he's like, hmm, I should try it again. My nigga, what you thought? 
that was going. <laughs> them sound effects, yeah, all them sound effects always gets me, man. What happened? So Daniel gets up and he wakes up to a fighting pose. This time to box. Johnny's not taking him seriously at all. He's literally taunting in his <laughs> face, Fortnite emoting and all, and then whips him with a <laughs> kick. With just one, he had him straight on his knees. Oh. Nah. Johnny walks up to Daniel and Daniel actually gets a solid hit on him. Yeah. Had him bleeding and everything. I just be watching this scene and I get flashbacks of chain. He wouldn't even let Jaden get that one hit off. He had to flex. You a menace. <laughs> Johnny actually locked. Whatever happens to the actor who played um, Jane Smith's bully in Karate Care, whatever happened to him. Saying he gets on his body. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the ass beating. Man, you get it smoked. Damn. They leave my brother wiped out on the sand. Actually tragic. But the next day starts and Daniel's trying to be a new person. He says what's up to Freddy and Freddy is the actual biggest L man of the century. Bro completely switched up his flow. Daniel was genuinely saying hi and look at how he's frying him. Oh, look at Mr. Karate Kid. I guess the only thing he knows is how to get beat. Man, get this old dork ass nigga off my stick. The only real one he got left is Allie and he's still cooking up. I respect you heavy, my brother. Everyone around literally just cannot I'm here at the Persona 3. I'm using the background. But I just got reloaded. I'm um, reload the remake last month. I'm loving it so far. I let a brother eat. Can't let a brother win. And they do him absolutely dirty on the soccer Damn, field. For no reason, too. They gain nothing it's from this. Off. And that's how you know these are true villains. If they are going out their way to violate and their actions won't even improve a single aspect of their life. Nah, they're natural born haters. They're doing it just for <laughs> your downfall. Leads me to the next scene and this is just absolutely vile. I don't even think Chang did anything half as bad. So Daniel's out there living like a regular civilian but sadly him and his mom get caught lacking. The ops got the egg all because he wanted to have some tea time with his mommy. That's not even the craziest part. They cook up this entire plot to jump Daniel whenever he leaves the cafe. He was having brunch with his mom in the afternoon. Dog, it's night! They was dead spawn camping Daniel. That is so tough. They waited that long to spin the block and they rolled five niggas deep. Oh, nah. The 1v5 is devious. And again, they gained nothing from this. Daniel ain't do nothing but be a good son. And this is how you're paid? Nah, this is crazy. Y'all some freaks of human beings. Not even Chang was operating outside of school hours. His reign of diabolical was only before curfew. You really have people making videos saying Daniel. Daniel's the real bully? What? And after this, they have my boy genuinely traumatized. I would be too. Daniel can't even riz anymore. He sees these niggas and he gets zapped of all of his game. He goes from Duke Dennis to annoying TV. The Riz Redactor, the damsel the miniature. He's selling his own bag. It's actually tragic, but I'ma skip to the party. And Daniel, once again, being the founding fraud father, hits the water trick. And I don't know about y'all, but I still don't think this is enough. These niggas have you hiding from your MVP of the roster for an entire month. All you do is get him a little wet? And this is just one of the five? I don't know. We need some more revenge out of y'all. If it was me, I'm sticking to my terrorist name. I'm blowing that whole stall up. <laughs> but this scene is where I get the title of Daniel LaRusso is a fraud. Because look at the amount of advantages this man had and he still did worse than Jaden. If you've seen Concrete Smith, that is a low bar. Just walk with me, fam. Watch this. So Daniels. Him calling Jaden Smith Concrete Smith still is hilarious as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Sprints out the bathroom and Johnny's slipping and sliding just to get out of there. And while Daniel's running out, he has such a W girl. She trips all these niggas and they're piled up on top of each other. And I don't know if y'all ever trip with some other men. Oh, whoa, that's whoa, not what I meant. Whoa. Getting up when tripping with other people is hard as hell. This is a cool 20, 30 second head start. So Daniel runs outside and y'all gonna see at the end of this scene, all he wanted to do was run straight. So my dog, what are you doing? Because not only did you cause traffic, you ran at another car, stopped, ran at the other car, and instead of going around it, I don't know about y'all, but I see a pretty big gap. I might be blind. He runs. <laughs> on top of the car and by the time he actually starts running they're not even more than three feet away nah i see this and i physically can't let it slide <laughs> what the hell is this 
this. Hey, bro, you the. Oh, copyright music again. Just mute it. I'm loving, I'm loving this so far, man. <laughs> They think concrete has pissed me off to this level. <laughs> this man is a fraud! You garbage! You trash! You sorry! <sighs> man, someone call up the goat and say this nigga real quick. <laughs> it's the man, the myth, the legend himself, yep. Mr. Miyagi. Yep. I repeat, Pat Morita, if I pronounce his last name right. Before we get to this real quick, look <laughs> at Johnny's kick. Oh, no, nah, that connected, that would have had Daniel's neck looking all types of crazy. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine in that kick, Johnny's a brick eater, too. Like, Mr. Miyagi packs these two up real quick, and then look at them. Moving like the paths of pain, and they're fighting like an RPG. Why y'all going one at a time? But Miyagi's getting rid of them easy, giving them each two-piece combos. Would you like a drink with that? <laughs> Face ass. You can't get them out for free. Two for five Wendy's. That's tough. After this scene, Miyagi pulls up to the dojo there's not too much that i can meme on i really like this scene priest is such a w character i love seeing yeah. him on the screen she's just fire i have nothing to say don't touch the prima donna till the tournament <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I love this movie. But again, this is a lot of different scenes that I just really like. This is one of my favorite movies. The only two things I gotta say before I end this off, Ali's low-key a bop, I can't even lie. Because after having a W date with Daniel, they walk outside and then some random pulls up and he's like, what's cooking good looking? Corny Ooh, lame boo. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Number one. <laughs> Number two, she lets go of Daniel's hand and she's out here beaming ear to ear. Ma'am, you still on the date? And then he asks her to hop in while Daniel's still there? You might as well sit in the cuck chair now, dog. You are finished. Yes. Not only that, she introduces the main nigga to the side? Like, bro, didn't Drake say something about this? Oh, no. I've been traveling around the world. <laughs> Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Maybe shake his hand when y'all been in for a minute. Hey, man, shout out Zep for the vocals. That's twin. I love that song, too, by the way. For real. Oh, wait, that's just me. <laughs> Focus back to Ali because she is still cheesing after all this, by the way. That's like what 10 red flags? Like, I mean, you just like me. I like crazy woman. I see red flags and all I see is gold. But this a little too much over my pay grade. You can even get a text out my keep bit. You can keep her. Facts! <laughs> Before I end this video, we're gonna end it with the biggest work of ministry in this entire movie. Because this man Daniel is sneaking into the country club through the kitchen. Like, oh, this God. is a complete oxymoron. Then he walking yeah. through the kitchen and he has never cooked anything in his life. He's looking through the... Bro, there's no way I dropped an English joke, bro. I would even like English. Slept yeah. in the class. I have to switch the language because that actually pissed me off. And you know, I was so good on the last day, he must... Stupid. So Daniel's peeping through the door and he sees Johnny dancing with his girl and Johnny just to get him jealous, commit sexual assault. That's just so he can laugh at Daniel afterwards. This Damn. is completely diabolical. diabolical. You got all Damn. the other people in the country club laughing like it's hilarious too. I don't get y'all humor back then. Y'all saw someone fall off a banana peel. It was peak comedy. What have you right. come to? I would keep talking trash, but my sense Damn. of humor is absolutely horrendous. I can see a bird on a tree and then I hear the vine boom and I'm crying. <laughs> but nah, this is crazy. Not even Chang had to resort to sexual assault just so we could get back at Jaden. He was focusing on the wrong man. Johnny's the bigger menace. This is absolutely diabolical. Next time I run back to Karate Kid, we gonna do the whole tournament and some of Karate Kid 2. I was gonna do Karate Kid 2 in its own vid, but that movie is really slow and I don't have too much to meme on. I'm gonna mm. combine it with the tournament. Yeah. I appreciate y'all so much for watching and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. All right, awesome recap, Zephyr. Um, if he got the recap already out, I'm gonna react to that as well. But overall, yeah, <laughs> it's hilarious, man. It's absolutely hilarious. It's been so long I've seen the original Karate Kid. So overall, yeah, man. Um, I get his point though. I get his point though. But yeah, uh, overall loved it. Overall, as always, Zephyr W recap as always. So squad, that's gonna be it for this week for Hot Banger reactions. So hopefully next week I will have more coming this way y'all way and also uh, if you have not heard me before i'm on spring break next week so i have much more time to do thank god i'm on spring break so maybe like i said i have hot bank reactions every single day from 
Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, and maybe Friday. Sorry, that was my phone chiming. But yeah, Hawk Squad, um, I hope y'all enjoy every single of my banger reactions. Thank y'all for joining me, and including my reaction to Zeth Fire's Karate Kid Recap. So if you enjoy all of them, please hit that button, comment, and share your thoughts. Um, how old was you when you watched the first Karate Kid? I know this came out in the 80s, but all you people who grew up with the Karate Kid movies. And have you seen Cobra Kai? What is your favorite episode in each season? So overall, yeah, this has been this has been a blast. It's been a huge blast doing bringing your reaction once again. So Hot Squad, this is Tars Hot signing out for today or for the weekend. I will see y'all hopefully next week for more Hot Banger reactions if I got the time to do them. If, if I want to just like take a... Take a time off for Hot Brain Reactions. I will post it. Trust me, I'll do it the day after next week. So, Hot Squad, once again, this is Taurus Hot signing out for the weekend. I will see y'all later for more Hot Brain Reactions. Peace out and have a great weekend.